Hi there, Chris here. I have this seagull. I've picked one of these on my channel before, but not this one. And it is on an arrow key. There's a number on the back. 631544. Not sure what that says. Can't see it. Um, and stay tuned for the end of this video because I have a picture of one of the old-fashioned uh, night deposit uh, vaults at a bank. It's on the outside, and you can see that they use seagull locks to uh, a seagull lock for that. So that'll I'll put that picture on the end. So we'll see if we can pick into this. Has a little hitch in it. And there's, there's the bidding on the key. It's a nice high one there. So let's see if I can get in here. Now, I have a new subscriber, and he is Lockboy Benny, maybe? I hope I'm getting that right. Anyway, he, he commented on one of my videos that I have a kind of a crazy picking technique, uh, and can I explain it? <laughs> I don't know if I can explain it, but I'll try. Um, I generally use this pick and one of my tensioners top the keyway and what's different about my picking style is I don't let's see if we can see see there's a little ledge right there I don't pick off ledges let me get something else can I get this smaller there we go let me find something else with that's a real good ledge. See, like a lot of people will take this ledge right there and pick off of it. I don't pick off the ledges. Uh, ledges go up and down, so you have to use different picks. Um, and I don't, I don't back up my pick with my finger. I just go in there and pick. So I kind of freeform pick, and I just, and I, I pick in hand, this is a little bright, let's see here. I pick in hand, um, I'm a retired Finnish carpenter, and I've had tools in my hands all my life, and I don't know if that has something to do with it, a lot of feedback, it probably has something to do with the vice thing. I get feedback all through this lock, and um, I keep the, the pick as free as possible. Um, sometimes, because I don't pick in a vise and I'm not counter-rotating with the tension wrench, I'll counter-rotate with the heel, this part of the wrench. I'll go in and kind of lean against the side to uh, make it counter-rotate. But this seem this style seems to, to work for <laughs> for me if I don't drop my tension wrench. Um, I don't know. I started with this style, and then when I started watching videos, I went, "Oh, I'm doing it wrong. I need to to do this." And I tried and tried and tried to convert, and I just never really made the conversion. I wasn't getting into locks, so I just went back to what works for me. And of course, that's the most important for anybody is really what works for you. So I just go in there, I've got a little bit of a false set now. So I'm gonna check the back. I'm looking for some counter, there's counter on maybe three. Whoops, four, didn't get it. Didn't get it. I'm gonna check up front. Go to the back again. Still getting that counter. Let's see if I can manually rotate a little bit. Nope. I think we got her. I think we got it. Yes, we did. And as you can see, <clears throat> very, very, very light tension. Um, I've demonstrated this very often. Get in there. That when I'm picking, 
boom, boom, boom. I'm picking, I'm picking, I'm picking. Um, <laughs> often that'll fall out. But you can see I can generally skip my pick right under my finger. That's about how much tension I use. And I increase <clears throat> and decrease that tension as I need to, to to set pins. So let's see what's in here. Got to be a spool or so. We'll get it. See if we can get it undone. So I hope that answers the question. Um, there's no right or wrong way to pick your locks. What works for you is the right way. Um, if you're not getting into a particular lock, ask somebody. Well, I have this, you know, American 1100 or what have you, and I just can't seem to get it. Well, watch videos, ask people. Uh, Doug Picks Locks just did for Stock Lock Sunday uh, an all brass American US set lock and really did a great explanation of um, of his tensioning techniques. And it was, you know, with that lock, and it was perfect. I mean, it was like textbook. So I would refer you to that video if you're having trouble with Americans. Huh. I don't know if this is just tight or if it's a bum shim or what. Might be a bum shim. Oh, no, there we go. I think it's going to be tight, though. All right, so we are turned. Ooh, very tight. Okay, so it's a little five-pinner. Everybody had to be picked, I think. Five is almost an overset trap. We'll look at the key. So let's dump these out. One, actually two. That's two. One. Did in these are got reversed. Really want to see if there's a spool in there. So nothing fancy about the core. The shim's gonna be a pain. Oh, that's coming. All right, get rid of that. Let's see what we have in one. One is standard copper spring. Two is standard copper spring. I, want, I really do want to say I got counter. So I'm looking for a spool, at least one. Three, here we go. There's the spool in three. And I think that's what it gave it up on. I think. Copper spring, four, another spool, not bad. And five is standard. Actually, that's an interesting spool. I wonder, I wonder how that got in there. Uh, this came in a bunch of locks with on eBay. So there you go. Now who's stuck? There's a spring in somewhere. Let's get a little dig out pick. See what we have here. Oh yeah, someone's been in here. <laughs> someone's been in here. 
because that's a different spring. You would not find that spring in this, this lock, nor would you find this spool. But hey, pretty cool. Um, I'll do a close up. Yeah, number four is the ringer. So I think number four would probably have that type of, that spring and that spool. But someone has done some goodies. Number one has an anti-drill protection, which is nice. And there's no, doesn't seem to be any, <clears throat> um, just flat across the top. Oh, who did we lose? Oh, we lost number one. Okay, so anyway, that's this arrow. Um, arrow key in a seagull lock. So stay tuned at the end. You can see that really cool light um, deposit safe thing. And thanks for watching. Um, thanks to all my new subscribers. I hope um, that my picking style explanation shed some light on it but bottom line is whatever works for you if you're getting into locks you're doing it right all right we will see you next time